morning everybody. So what I wanted to do today is to talk to you about the work I'm interested in exploring around these edges and margins in the landscape. And you may or may not have seen um, some of the work that I've been doing on location where I've been doing quite large pieces and then cutting them down. I've been actually working out on location and then collaging them and some black and white work. So I've got that here and I thought I'd just show you as a way of sort of starting this discussion really. So this is the black and white work. I've been putting it into an A3 uh, ring bound book so that I can uh, explore it and look at it quite effectively. And let me just turn the pages. No, that's a black one. So these are the coloured works I've been doing and they've been collaged back together. They were longer pieces of A3 and then uh, reformatted uh, and put into here um, and they have more all on the same stretch of, um, of walled um, edge of field uh, up in, in Mosley where, where I'm based and uh, there's more here and so that's a sort of start point um, but these are all studies really and they're studies to enable me to develop a more abstract approach in my work so I want to eventually create these panels um, uh, with paintings and collage um, and also work on paper but I'm still at the sort of exploratory sort of doing study stage so what I'm going to be doing now um, as we're in second lockdown here in the UK beginning of November um, last lockdown at the beginning of that uh, interestingly I did this and it's a small A6 uh, Constantina from Sea White um, and it's all about the uh, coastal path actually in Pembrokeshire and at that time I was going to visit Pembrokeshire and uh, do this uh, in person. I couldn't do that so I did it all from memory and from uh, video and photographic footage that I already had taken uh, in the previous autumn. So this is mixed media work but it's not using collage and it wasn't pre-done it was just literally done uh, in one sort of each piece was done in one hit if you like. So what I now want to do um, is to take another one of these books um, and uh, these are, as I say, these are the C. White uh, sketchbooks, Constantina sketchbooks, A6, um, and I'm going to use a variety of different materials um, in order to be able to create a sort of a start point really, a sort of an interesting background on which I will work over, either from videos or on location or from memory. Um, so what I wanted to do is I will show you show you how I'm doing it but in the first instance I want to show you the materials that I'm going to be using to put onto here. Um, so in the first instance fortunately for me I had been doing some work some pre-works uh, for something and I had been taping the paper and it was black and white. So I now have these lovely tapes that are variously covered in random marks and so that's a really nice thing to be able to use to stick on um, so I'm definitely going to be working with some of that um, I have also got if I take you further over here I've also got a variety of papers some of them are bought papers and quite a few of them are handmade in various ways so this one was a photocopy actually of some gel plate uh, work I did with leaves. So that's a sort of random thing. This is just uh, pattern paper, so that's bought. Um, and this is uh, napkins, so that's bought. Uh, then I've got some rubbings here from trees and, and plants and things, so that's quite something quite nice to use. And I've done some stencil work. Um, more of the um, napkins and then more bought paper. I'm going to do it in black and white or keep with that sort of rather sort of um, tonal values grey scale um, and just more uh, photocopies and things that I've, I've developed myself. So that's the sort of papers I'm going to stick on um, and, I'm, and I'm, I think I mentioned there and showed you some of the text that I'd, I'd got as well. Um, I'm also going to um, try some pressing things onto the surface. Um, so instead of actually having papers that have been created with these um, stencils, if you like, or ways of pushing into the paint, I'm gonna actually do it on the actual Constantina book. And I've got some spent sequin waste, I've got some interesting embossed papers, and I've got some bubble wrap. So I'll use that as well. 
And then subsequently, when I have quite a mix and array, um, I might well knock some back with gesso, don't know yet. And I'm gonna use some inks, different inks, dark inks. I've got um, a Liquitex Muted Grey, I've got a Quink, and I've got a dark grey um, document sink. So I'll be using that over the top. So that then creates me with a really interesting background that's quite abstract, which I work over. Mm. So Just tape. You can see what I'm doing. I'm going to put it all at different angles. I'm going to tear some. I'm going to keep some of it as it is. Um, just going to sort of try and create sort of a mix of, of stuff with it, really. And some of it I'm going to sort of do at angles. I'm going to get too mad with it, though, because... Um, I won't get carried away so I can move it along so that you can still see what I'm doing. Um, so I'm just going to try and be really quite random with it. I'm going to tear some of it as well because it's quite chunky for this uh, thin sketchbook. I have no idea what it's going to look like. It's, that's the joy of it really. You just uh, are trying to do things that you wouldn't usually do and it's kind of intuitive and you you don't know where it's going to end up but you usually get some really interesting surprises some of it although i did fix it it's actually coming off i might have to use some gloss medium on it actually because it's uh unsticking itself probably going to make a right old mess before i'm done anyway i shall progress <music> So this is the um, dried uh, piece before, uh, dried Constantina before um, I've added inks, but I've added some gesso in and I can just see some of it's not quite dry, but I'll just show you the thing. I've used a hairdryer to dry it. I've scored into some of the gesso I've put on. I've just randomly put some gesso on really, just to knock it back a bit. Um, some there, which I didn't score into at all. Um, hopefully you can see um the variety i've put some gesso there and put something into the gesso to get the marks there um scored into it a bit there um so hopefully that gives you a sort of a sense of um how i've done this and then finally i've got some bits of gesso there and over here and i've just sort of used a piece of cards, um, put the gesso on relatively uh, thinly, but enough so that I can score into it. So um, that's it, and now I'm going to add uh, the ink.
So here is the finished piece. I've just been drying it with a hairdryer, which is what you need to do. So I just um, shook, just walked through it. Um, you can see that it's actually now quite a busy piece, um, but I quite like it like that. I can then work over it with line work and I can block off colors. I can cover things up. I can add more and so on, but it gives a really interesting start point um, to further work. And it means I can go out and look at my margins and edges until my heart's content and um, work over these pieces. Um, and I might do some from video, um, a memory, and some out and about. So in the next video, I'll show you um, how I get on with that. So thanks very much for watching. And please do like and subscribe to my channel if you've enjoyed the video. And I'll catch you later. Bye-bye.